Welcome back to The Reflection Show. This is Ramsey Rizard and the Mira, and I'm excited here at the International Christian Film Festival. Please let them know who you are and what do you do. Um, hi, I'm Ailey Aspen, and I am a singer, I'm a dancer, an actor, and I really enjoy what I do. So hold on. You do it all. You do it all. So. Just like McDonald's, sometimes you have someone who's flipping the burgers, doing the fries, giving a soda, but you do it all. So how do you wind down and focus on whether it's just acting or singing or, 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 or interviewing people? How do you wind down and do that? Well, you see, I just really enjoy what I do. And instead of winding it down, I see of what it can give me. Mm. Uh, yeah. What it can give you. So wait, earlier we were talking, you, your mom and I, you are from Hawaii, yes. right? You do a lot of work in Hawaii, and you've been doing this for a very long time. You were on America's Got Talent, right? Yes. And you're only how old? Let everybody know how old are you. I'm 12 years old. Only 12 years old, and she is doing so much. And also, you're doing something in your community. What, what is it that you do? Well, I actually have a project called Happy Hygiene, and I give like toothbrushes and shampoos to the homeless and the right. people who are on need. And I, my platform is also Manners and Momentum. That's actually my mom's job. Um, she teaches kids, adults, um, any age. She teaches them how to be helpful, how to be kind, and she teaches them manners. Wow! How interesting. At 12 years old, you are able to hold on to so much in your life at a such short time. You know, there's people who's 12 years old that's still trying to figure out what's their favorite cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> or what's their favorite cereal box. Or, or, or mom, I want to go play with my friends. But here you are, you're trying to plan your life. And earlier you and your mom, me and your mom was talking about, you already thinking about your PhD and to do a forensic. What is so interesting about forensic that you, that draws you so close to it? Well, at first, I wanted to do paleontology, which is the study of dinosaur fossils. Yeah. And I just thought it was really cool. But then I kind of thought about it. You know, I have to be, if I had a family, I'd have to be away from my family. I'd right. have to live in a desert. So I really... You gotta live in a desert? Yeah. Uh -uh, it's too hot for yeah. you to be living in <laughs> <laughs> It's too hot for you to be living in yes. the desert. Are you serious? Yeah, I'd have to live in the desert. I'd barely be home. No way. Yeah. So that's why I didn't really want to do that. Mm -hmm. And so because I liked uh, looking into fossils, I thought, yeah. wait, what else is kind of like looking into fossils? I forensics. I thought I would go forensics, so I was, in I was interested. Wow. Huh, sometimes <laughs> when you feel like in life, it, when, it doesn't matter what age, how old you are, where you at in life, where you're located. She shows us here today that there's a possibility, if you put your mind to it, you can get it done, or whatever you want to do in life, you can, you can find a way to do it, no matter what age you are. What would you like to say to those who are 12 years old and they're watching this? What, would you, what, what, what wisdom can you share with them to help them to think just like you? Well, you know, what I like to think is, what can I do? How can I become this person? Mm -hmm. So really, you just have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to look, you have to think about your future. Mm. Get out of your comfort zone. You have to think about your future. And what else? Just go towards your dream. Go towards your dream! That is so cool. And I, and, and I love the fact that you say that because as simple as that, as simple as that sounds, even people who are 60, 70, 50 years old have a hard time understanding that. And it is a blessing to see someone like you take initiative into those words and, re and not just react on them, but you are proactive with that. And you're here at the International Christian Fe Film Festival. Uh, what is it that you're doing here today? I am interviewing people, uh, people that I meet, <laughs> yes. and I figure out what they do, and so I interview them. I am with uh, the Don Reese Show, Hollywood okay. Connections, and it is on the 106.1 FM radio, okay. and it is also with VH2 Network TV. And where can people find you? 
Um, they can find me on Instagram. I have my official account, Official, And my mom also has her account, so if you want to follow her, it's yeah. Estania Caputo. And... Guys, this, we're making history on The Reflection Show. 12 years old. Now, I know you guys seen stuff on Steve Harvey. I know you've seen it on probably Oprah or something. But guess what? We have Maylee Aspen here on The Reflection Show, 12 years old, dropping wisdom, knowledge, and nuggets. So for those of you who are 12 years old or who are 25 or who are 50, and you're trying to figure out what to do with your life, think about what Maylee is saying. Think about your future. Think about what you could do to help. Because in that why, I learned this today from a real good friend, Joshua uh, Washington, from the Joshua Mentality, I've learned once you figure out your why, then you know what to do with your wife. This is Ramsey Rizard with Maylee Aspen here on the Reflection Show in the Mirror. And remember, your experience matters. Thank you.